Okay, hey cookies, it's your girl Yana Piranha, and I did that on purpose because I realized I had my car halfway on and like halfway not on, and um, yeah, I just got a new battery because I accidentally did that before and like my battery was drained. I think, and it wasn't just because I did that one time, it was because the battery was like three years old and I needed to get a new one, but anyway, you caught me like having adult problems. Um, it's your girl, Ayana Piranha, and we are here on day 24. Day 24 of August. So, um, how many times has my hair changed in a month? Um, I have had... My natural hair was out when we started. Then I had a, a wig. Then I had these braids. And so, I, I was planning to take these out... But um, we're going to finish the month strong because I'm not a quitter. How about that? <coughs> so here we are with this. And I am on almost, let me see, I'm on week, a week in two days, uh, three days, four days of meatless. Um, today in my Tupperware dish, I have a little bit of jasmine rice, not that much. Um, zucchini, kale, mushrooms, and onions with some meatless chicken, which I think is just some tofu. Meatless. Mmm, spongy. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I got. Um, and I put a little soy sauce on it because I know how many of you used to follow me if you used to follow me on instagram i know you probably miss all of the food posts that i used to make um don't judge me because i'm hungry okay let me not prolong this because i really should be running errands but i just don't feel like it i think i'm just gonna sit in my car and decompress after i do this so today i was able to listen to joyce meyer and um I can't remember the exact title of the sermon, but it had to do with, um, well, her illustration was her being in a pit and how the pit was like her wallowing in all her like self pity and like hate and like not recognizing her own problems, but like putting it off on everyone else. So, um, there were three things that stuck out to me, um, one of the things that I put in bold, because over here are my Joyce Meyer notes, and then over here is what I'm grateful for. Um, stop blaming other people for your problems. I wouldn't say that I'm someone who does that on purpose, but inadvertently, if such and such wouldn't have done this, I would have not done that. And... Um, because clearly I play too much and didn't go through and delete my old videos before trying to post this one. And my camera was like, nah, uh girl. That's what you get for being a potty mouth. I'm working on it. Long story short is I'm working on it. I'm trying to curse less, blame people less, be a little less agitated and a little less offended. I once seen Erica Campbell yeah, I'm hungry. Don't judge me, okay? I once seen Erica Campbell talk about operating in the spirit of offense. And when I tell you that thing, like, toe crunch. Like, I'm that kind of person. Like, somebody say something to you. And sometimes people do come for you. Well, sometimes people will say something to me and I'll be like, well, what you trying to say? What you mean? Long story short, I'm trying to get better about that, too. So, anyway... Today, I'm grateful for and showing gratitude for light shed. And I'll read what I wrote. Clarity, getting it together, the process, and growth, which are all videos um, from earlier this month of things that I was thankful for and showing gratitude for. Um, so many gems have been revealed in my gratitude journey. I will continue to be thankful as God reveals people, places, and things that no longer serve me so that I can move and grow forward. I'm looking for and expecting tremendous change for the absolute better. Thank you, God, for light shed. 
So I'll read it one more time. And my attitude, hashtag attitude of gratitude, um, light shed, um, clarity, getting it together, the process and growth. So many gems have been revealed in my gratitude journey. I will continue to be thankful as God reveals people, places and things that no longer serve me so that I can move and grow forward. And I am looking forward, well, I'm looking for and expecting tremendous change for the absolute better. And I thank God for light shed. So I've already talked your ear off enough. I've eaten in your face and I have told you that I'm a potty mouth uh, person. <laughs> and um, I'm just always going to be transparent because I believe that... Um, as believers and just as people as women if we are more transparent about our struggles if we're more transparent about the things that we are going through we can help build and encourage someone else if I go through my life and I pretend like I don't curse I don't get upset I don't I'm not sad I don't cry I haven't been through a bad breakup if I act like the Sun rises and sets on my crack all the time like I had the highest self-esteem at all times I would be doing um, every one of you a great disservice and so I say that in the sense of um, us being truthful about the things that hurt us being truthful about the things that help us being um, truthful about our trials and tribulations like let me tell you I do not have it all together I don't um, and that in itself may be an encouragement to someone else because you might be looking at my life and you might think, oh, she's always doing this and she's always doing that or she has this, oh, she dresses so nice, she's always doing that. I don't have it all together. This is a process. Life is a journey of me trying to get it all together. With the end goal of being heaven, child, I'm just trying to get there. All right? <laughs> so y'all pray my strength in the Lord here. Um... Uh, so that's it. I'm thankful today for Shed Light. I've already talked enough. This is the longest video ever, but they're getting longer because more stuff is being revealed, and I'm thankful for that. Um, subscribe to this channel because some of you have dropped off now that I've been more consistent, which for those of you who are here, I'm thankful for that. Um, so subscribe here. Like my like page on Facebook, which is Ayana Piranha. On Instagram and Twitter, I'm Ayana Piranha one I wrote a book some years ago called About Love and Such. You can check that out on Lulu.com. And my blog. My blog contains a whole bunch of dope content. Go there. It's AyanaPiranha.blogspot.com and I'll catch you in the next vlog. Peace.